Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Walnut Ridge Family RV Sales. I'm your host, Tony McMillan, and today is Walkthrough Wednesday. First, let's get this out of the way. Today is 9-11, and it is officially Patriots Day. We will never forget the things that happened on September 11th of 2001. If you remember, the day after that, that's when everyone, us as a country and the world, came together to pull our loved ones and family closer. We'd like to take a little time to show you our way of being able to help you make memories that last a lifetime. I'm standing next to a 2020 Hideout 318 LHS. This unit has pl plenty of space for you and your entire family. Up here in the front, you've got a big pass-through storage compartment. Allows you to put all your lawn chairs, all the outdoor toys, the blow-up toys for the pool and the pond and the lake, all that stuff. You've got a big patio awning. This patio awning is a push-button awning. Oh, uh, push the button and it comes out, push the button and it goes back in. It's got LED lights all the way across and underneath it. It's got the new solid steps from Lippert Manufacturing, so they're good and solid. No less chance of anyone falling down the steps. You've got an outside hookup for a television as well as an electrical outlet. You've got a second entrance that goes directly into the bathroom. So now you don't have to have people tromping all the way through the coach just trying to get to the restroom. Back here, you've got a beautiful outdoor kitchen. You've got a two burner stove that pulls out. This is underneath uh, the door, so it makes an awning. If it's raining, you've got hot and cold running water, extra countertop space, and you've got a, an Everchill refrigerator out here. Plenty of room to do all your cooking. Let's take a look at the inside of the unit. So up these steps, you'll find Right off the bat, you'll find a fireplace. This is an electric fireplace unit. It has a 5100 BTU electric heating element in it. Allows you to knock the chill off if it's starting to get cool. We are starting to get to that time of the year where you may want some heat source at, at night. You've got a sofa here that folds down to make a bed and a dinette that makes a bed. Big windows, plenty of natural light coming in. Of course, this unit is equipped with all ducted air conditioning all the way throughout. It does have an LP furnace. It has a double door refrigerator with the freezer on top, three burner stove, and an oven, the microwave for the popcorn, plenty of storage space up overhead, 60-40 split fold down sink. Back here, you'll find the entrance into the bathroom and as I said it has the outside entrance allowing you to come straight in from the outside plenty of cabinet space and linen space here and then back here in your bunk room you have a bunk on top that folds up there are two two uh, foam sofa uh, cushions down here that will fold out to make individual beds or they can be used as a sofa you have a bunk here and a bunk back here. This lifts up. There's plenty of storage space down underneath there. If you've got small kids, that's a great toy box. So if you're keeping track, sleeping area back here, one, two, three, four, five. This allows five people to sleep in the bunk room without having to use your dinette or your sofa. Up front, you'll find the master bedroom that has a queen size bed plenty of storage space up over the top of the, the front bed with wardrobe closets on both sides that are mirrored and sliding pocket doors to shut mom and dad off from the rest of the coach. This is just one, one of the units that we have. I'm going to show you another unit that's a little smaller, a little easier to tow, but still has a ton of sleeping space. We'll see you soon. All right, guys, now we're going to take a look at this unit. This is a 2020 hideout. 272 LHS. So some of the things are going to carry over straight from the 318 LHS because Hideout does what Hideout does. So up here you've got your power tongue jack. You've got your same big pass-through storage compartment goes all the way through to the other side. We still have the same carefree push-button power awning with the LED lights up underneath it. We still have the Lippert components, solid steps, we still have the electrical outlet and the cable outlet out here underneath the awning. We still have the second entrance 
going straight into the bathroom so the little kiddos aren't tracking all the way through the unit makes it easy to get in and out of inside we're going to carry some of the same cool stuff through but we're going to do a couple things different so inside this unit we're still carrying over the electric fireplace still carrying over the 5100 btu electric heater up front we've got the queen size bed Plenty of room for the king and queen to sleep in the unit at night. You've got the, the sliding uh, pocket doors to shut off the king and queen from the rest of the unit. You've got wardrobe space on each side plus a shelf up here. The bed lifts up for storage, so there's tons of storage room down underneath here. We still have the sofa that makes a bed, and there's storage space underneath the sofa. We still have the dinette that makes a bed. There's storage underneath that as well. Over here, you've got your three burner stove. You've got your oven, the microwave. We've still got a ton of cabinet space up overhead. 60-40 split sink. Both of them have the built-in central vac system so you can clean up. Double door refrigerator and freezer by Norcol. Huge food pantry. Top shelf is removable, so it's got a hanging rack in there if you need some extra hanging space. Your entrance into your bathroom here. So your tub and shower there, plus the entrance in from the outside. Now we're going to do a little different. We're going to do double over double bunk, 300 pounds of weight capacity, electrical outlets and light lights, as well as a curtain to shut them off, built-in ladder to get up there storage space down underneath this unit so one of the repeating things over and over about this unit is a lot of stuff carries over from the 318 to the 272 there's a lot of storage space in here and there's a lot of sleeping space in here hope you guys enjoyed walk through wednesday talk to you soon